Hi, I'm Olivia. I'm a sophomore studying biomedical engineering at Northwestern University. As my major requires many classes in math and science, I thought today I could give some tips regarding test taking. You may not know this, but I finished iLevel's math program when I was in my first couple years of high school, and keeping track of the different subjects meant having a good sense of time management. Spending your time efficiently studying is the key. So I split this up into solo strategies first. First of all, notes. Make sure you read through your notes. So whether you took them yourself or your teacher gave a packet, don't skim, actually read what's going on. And in math or science, highlight and mark important formulas or words and their names and definitions. There's no point in knowing a formula or vocabulary if you don't know what they're used for. And then I find it helpful to highlight or mark in different color important terms and when they're used. Possibly a practice problem that also goes with it. And that leads to doing practice problems. Old homework is usually my go-to for practice problems, and hopefully you did it the first time, but now it's time to do it again. Basically, what you're looking for is to see what you can do by yourself again, and then see what mistakes you made yet a second time, and then you need to make a note of why you made that mistake. Other than old practice problems, like from homework, use, <coughs> use old quizzes and tests. Again, this helps in similar ways, so you know what you need to spend a little more time on. Your teacher may or may not give you back old quizzes and tests, but it never hurts to ask. And then, of course, from doing practice problems from the notes. And to, I know my teachers gave me practice problems from like a textbook or online, and you want to try to do the problems that you haven't gone over before but there's no problem in doing the ones you've done already again for the same reason of seeing, hey, what mistakes did I make yet a second time? And then there's a few group strategies for studying. And the most important thing to remember about group studying is that you are a group. And it's nice to have other people around, but they're not going to be there for the test usually. Um, there's two ways to do it. Um, you either all do the same problem, check answers, then move on. Or you all do the same problems, and then everyone explains their process to the others. So the advantage of doing a problem, checking answer, and then moving on, is if someone makes a mistake, everyone can explain why right then and there. But the con is it's a little slower paced, which means you might get a few less practice problems done. And then for doing all the same problems, like a set of 20 problems, and every person explaining their process. The pro of it is that the person explaining can demonstrate how much they understand the problem. And actually, if you can explain a problem well, that's a pretty good indication you understand the material well. Um, but the con is, I mean, you have to do more problems initially, which may or may not be a con, whether you consider more work a bad thing. And I know one thing that I found really helpful is making a study sheet. Because yes, you can go through your old notes, you can read them, but you think of a study sheet as rewriting your notes as concisely as possible. But you shouldn't shorten something to the point of not understanding how or why to use the information. Um, some visual things I like to do, make all your formulas one color, make all vocab one color, and also, draw diagrams if you have diagrams, and I'm thinking in terms of, let's say you're taking math classes and there's different formulas for specific graphs, draw those graphs, make sure you label axes and stuff like that. And my final thoughts about test prep, don't cram, just just don't, I've done it, and it's, it's not worth it because you feel horrible afterward. And you don't retain as much information from that. Um, also, use resources. Ask your teachers for help. Ask your friends for help. Chances are you're not the only person who's had this problem. So, and plus the teachers will appreciate that you're putting in an effort. Also, don't burn yourself out. So there, this is kind of the opposite of don't cram. Don't cram is don't start studying the night before. Don't burn yourself out means don't spend like 
two weeks preparing for the test, if you're still learning stuff in that two weeks, because it's just, you're going to get really burnt out from studying multiple if you study multiple hours of the same subje subject every day for two weeks, come the test you will be very prepared, but those two weeks will feel like a lifetime. And then also, uh, and I'm looking at everyone who has homework, sleep. Get at least six hours of sleep be the day before you have a quiz or a test. So I think, I, I hope this has been helpful and thinking more towards those in middle and high school. I'm pretty sure if you follow at least a few of these things, you'll do well on your tests.